Welcome back to our channel, where we make your safety a priority. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of risk assessment. If you've ever wondered how to keep yourself and others safe, you're in the right place. We'll be discussing the essential steps of risk assessment, which are incredibly crucial in various aspects of life. So let's jump right in. Step 1. Identify the hazard. Our first step is I for identify the hazard. In this phase, we need to pinpoint potential dangers. Whether you're at home, work, or on an adventure, recognizing what could go wrong is the key to a safer experience. Step 2. Decide who might be harmed and how. Now moving on to D for decide who might be harmed and how. It's not enough to know the hazard. We need to understand who's at risk and how they might be affected. This step ensures we're taking a comprehensive approach to safety. Step 3. Evaluation of the risk. E represents evaluation of the risk. Here, we assess the severity and likelihood of harm occurring. By understanding the risk's magnitude, we can prioritize safety measures effectively. Step 4. Estimation of the risk. Part of the evaluation process is estimating the risk. This helps us gauge the potential consequences and decide whether further actions are necessary to mitigate the risk. Step 5. Effectiveness of control. Measure. Now let's talk about the effectiveness of control measures. This is where we determine if the measures in place are working and, if not, what adjustments need to be made to enhance safety. Step 6. Record your findings. R stands for Record Your Findings. Keeping a record ensures transparency and accountability. It's vital for both personal and professional applications. Step 7. Review and Revise. Lastly, R also stands for Review and Revise. Regularly revisiting your risk assessment is essential. New hazards may emerge or circumstances may change, so staying up to date is critical. There you have it, the steps of risk assessment. It's a simple yet powerful process that can safeguard you, your loved ones, and your projects. Remember, identifying hazards, understanding who might be harmed, and evaluating risks are all part of the journey to a safer life. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more valuable content. Share it with your friends and colleagues so they can stay safe too. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.